it's festival season and it's Sabaho uh, everybody and welcome back to Wamina's channel. I'm Elisa Freja, founder of Wamina and this week we're celebrating festival season baby. We're heading out to Sandbox which happens to be in my backyard and we're gonna just party together and since it's gonna be a light episode we're gonna keep it fun and all I'm gonna be ranting about today is how amazing it is to be in a place that lets you feel free and accepted and fully yourself for a few hours. So if you want to see that journey and have a good time along with me, stick around for this week's episode of So this week we go to Sandbox, which is the biggest music festival in Egypt. It's over 6,000 people. It happens right here in Guna and it is one of the biggest events of the year. Guys, <laughs> I forgot what festival season was. I haven't actually gone to a festival since before the pandemic. And so I was just so excited to get dressed, to get dressed up and be in costume and like remember what those good vibes feel like. I can wear whatever I want and be as colorful and as peacocky as I like. It's totally acceptable. Your girl gets to be her own little burst of rainbow madness and everyone's like, oh my god, cool. That's not weird. That's not extra. So get ready with me. <laughs> Go there early, it's calm. Had a couple friends grabbing some food, we had coffee, we lay by the beach, enjoy the sun. What are you drinking? Iced coffee? <laughs> episode and I got to do a sound healing session which was so beautiful just to get me to like drop in and be present for this experience I got to like express myself with some painting <laughs> and the vibes are just amazing I'm loving it and artist after artist on that day was just knocking us on our ass as we were dancing so hard. These people were so talented. Midnight glitter run. I just glittered Farida's face. Oh my God, I did this. Welcome. <laughs> Everyone is feeling as open and as comfortable as they possibly can. They're feeling accepted for who they are and the vibes are like peak. It was just amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. It was amazing. It was awesome. It was amazing to see that the environment felt safe for all the women there and specifically that the men there were not in any way sleazy or uncomfortable to be around. It was something that, first of all, in terms of being a woman in nightlife is quite rare to experience. And I would also say in a region like ours where women are very often made to feel like their bodies are haram in some way, shape or form and their expression of self, whether it's ecstatic dancing or sensuality or spirituality, any sort of vulnerability that's shown tends to be something that we're shamed for and we're told to keep hidden. So to be in an environment where we can just fully express ourselves, however that may be in a safe place, 
place. It's so mind-blowing, guys. It's actually like such a rarity. And I hope that the measures that this festival and its team have decided to put in place and have created in order to foster this, other festivals could learn from. Here are some of the things I identified that helped make this festival into that safe space that I felt that it was. The founders themselves are accessible on site and very involved. They're smart, young, progressive, open-minded people that want to create a safe environment and that are aware and acknowledge the existence of the threats and the danger in nightlife and in entertainment. And so already from the get-go from their design, have tried to foster and create an equal environment that feels safe for everybody. And so that means in the team that they've hired, that means in the people that represent them, both as volunteers, but also on the performance stages, their performers had an incredibly high female representation, right? Almost at 50-50. And then when you went to the actual attendees, there was also an average split of people. I cannot tell you how amazing that is to experience as a woman in the world, <laughs> anywhere in nightlife. It makes me feel really proud to be in this place, to know the people who started this festival and to be able to share it with you in hopes that you guys may become next year or the year after. Which festival experience have you gone to that made you feel the most safe, free and accepted. I'd love them down in the comments because it's recommendations for all of us to maybe go and find one in our country or somewhere close to us that we want to go to. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow, you know the deal, at me or Mumina. Uh, I don't know if this whole glitter freckle situation thing works the way that I originally wanted it to. Well, I just feel cute right now. So I hope you guys like it.